Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q1 of the weekly contest 224, number of rectangles that can form the largest square. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about today's poem. Uh, and yeah, and for this one, it is just a rectangle, and I think there is a little bit, um, it's a little bit interesting, which is that, you know, for a rectangle of any size, the biggest square that you can make is just the min of the two sides, right? And once you do that, um, you know, it becomes just a counting thing, which is uh, due to the formula of, um, and they actually kind of tell you hinted, maybe really hint on the square part. And then now given the max length, you have to um, return num the number of the largest squares that you can make. Um, and yeah, and basically that's pretty much it. Uh, so what I did was that um, I did what the poem asks, which is that I have an array uh, for each, um, for each rectangle, we we put in the min of the height and the width, and then we just count out the number of um. This is actually n square. I probably should have cached this actually. Whoops! But I was doing it a little fast, so next time I may actually make a mistake. Now that I know this, it, but um. But yeah, and then now you just count the number of um. The number of elements that is equal to the max element, um, and that's pretty much it. So. This complexity should be linear time. Uh, you go through all the rectangles and and then you go through it again to count. So that should be linear time, linear space. Um, you may not even need to, you actually don't need the linear space if you uh, just be, be careful with variables and just kind of uh, get the max by keeping track. But but it would take more effort to that. That's why I didn't do it that way during the contest. Because, um, you know, for me, my optimization is during the contest, and you can kind of see me. I did it in a minute, 24 seconds, because I had a typo. But the way that I would, you know, and also the way that I did during the contest, this code uh, is actually n squared, because max of s is actually linear. Luckily, n is only a 1,000, so uh, got away with it. So how I would, would I do it um, if I were to clean it up, right? So I would clean up by getting um, the max is 0, 0. Um, if min of h, uh, let's just do max is equal to max of the min of this or the max and then do another loop where uh if max is equal to uh min of h there we, we do we increment count and then just return count um and of course you have to initialize count is equal to zero so this is the code that i would write if um if i had uh, time to clean it up but during the contest I'm just trying to get it as soon as possible and and in this case this is uh, all of one space and all of n time um, let me know what you think about this problem uh, it's kind of interesting especially for Yeezy um, yeah I don't know <laughs> let me know uh, but you could watch me solve it live during the contest next that's a go That's not right. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and ask me questions about this poem or other poems. Uh, have a good year and all that stuff, and I will see you next problem. Bye-bye.